Friends, you never know who you'll touch in life. You never know how or when you'll have an impact or how important your example can be to someone else. My faith helps me understand that circumstances don't dictate my happiness or my inner peace. The chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. You have to be who you are in this world, no matter what. At the end of the day, my friends, it's not about what you have or even what you've accomplished. It's about what you've done with those accomplishments. It's about who have you lifted up? Who have you made better? It's about what you've given back to those people. I think, personally, a role model is a mentor, someone who you see on a daily basis and you learn from them. My faith taught me how to forgive. Faith taught me when people present themselves in a certain way, there's probably some backstory or issue or reason for the way that they are acting. It's not you, my friends. It's them. And a lot of times, it's about something that's completely out of their control. Put God first. I've been protected. I've been directed. I've been corrected. <clears throat> I've kept God in my life, and it's kept me humble. I didn't always stick with Him, but He always stuck with me. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big, but remember, dreams without goals are just dreams, and they ultimately fuel disappointment. And understand, to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. You'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. It's not how much you have in life. It's about what you do with what you have. It, that's where the success is in helping others. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. That's how I live my life. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. My advice is this, and it's simple. Don't just aspire to make a living. Friends, aspire to make a difference. And may God bless each and every one of you, and take good care. Bye-bye now. Good morning. My name is Ralph Freaks. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and host of this show, Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube, to channel Take Your Life Back Today show, or just go to uh, my name, Ralph Freaks. I have some powerful last words. In December 2015, we looked into a bit of a text being shared on social media which was said to represent the final words of Apple co-founder Steve Jobs. We hoped our article helped to put the kibosh on the false rumor, but in January 2019, a nearly identical speech was circulated anew, only this time attributed to a different billionaire with an eerily similar name, Steve Goves. The Steve Goves deathbed speech was shared by many social media users in January 2019, with one of the most popular postings being on Joshua Feinstein's uh, an evangelical internet personality who has previously spread misinformation and is perhaps the most famously known for railing about Starbucks Christmas cups. Feinstein's posting including a photograph of a bearded man, presumably Mr. Steve Goes, and he wrote this following text. Steve Do Goves dies a billionaire with a fortune of $7 billion at the age of 56 from a pancreatic cancer, and here are some of his last words. It's not w this whole thing about what I just read about that's important. It's these words, and whether they came from him or not. In the other eyes, my life is essence of success, but aside from work, I have a little joy, and in the end, wealth is just a fact of life to which I was accustomed. At this moment, he started this quote, lying on the bed, sick and remembering all my life, I realized that all my recognition and wealth that I have is meaningless in the face of imminent death. You can hire someone to drive a car for you, but uh, uh, make money for you, but you can't rent someone to carry a disease for you. Think about those words. One can find material things, but there is one thing 
that cannot be found when it is lost. And that is called a life. Treat yourself well and cherish others. As we get older, we are smarter. And we slowly realize that the watch is worth $30 or $300 on your wrist, both of which show the same time, no comparison. Whether we carry a purse worth $30 or $300, the amount of money in uh, the wallet are the same. Whether we drive a car worth $150,000 or a car worth $30,000, the road uh, and the distance are the same. We reach the same destination with those two different cars. If we drink a bottle worth uh, $300 of wine or worth $10, the stroller will be the same. If the house we live in is 300 square meters or 3,000 square meters, the loneliness is still the same. Your true inner happiness does not come from uh, material things of this world. Whether you are flying first class or economy class, if the plane crashes, you crash with it. So I hope you understand that when you have friends or someone to talk to, this is true happiness. Not everything that you have, money-wise or materialistic. Five undeniable facts, and here they are. Number one is do not educate your children to be rich. Educate them to be happy so that when they grow up, they will know the value of things, not the price of things. Number two is to eat your food as medicine. Otherwise, you will need to eat your medicine as food. Number three is whoever loves you will never leave you, even if he or she has a thousand reasons to give up. They will always find one reason to hold on to you. Number four is, there is a big difference between being human and being a human being. Number five is, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. And in conclusion, the six best doctors in the world are as follows. And, and I want you to hear this. The best doctors are, number one, is sunlight. Number two is rest. Number three is exercise. Number four is diet. Number five is self-confidence. And number six is friends. Those are the six best doctors. Keep them in all stages of your life and enjoy a healthy life. Love the people God sent you. And one day, God will need them back. Folks, call me at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other take our lives back. Listen, whatever, whether this, uh, these words were true words from someone that was dying or not, the words themselves are the true meaning of life. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to anyone can help them and change their life and change their day and it can make a difference in your life. Those words mean everything. Money is nothing. Materialist things nothing. Health is everything. Life is everything. And friends are everything. And family is everything. Remember that and take good care. Bye-bye now.